in the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game, there is a lot of tension and anxiety. Now, where is the tension and anxiety coming from? The actual interactions that your opponent can have with you as you attempt to make your plays. In Pokemon, there isn't much interaction in the opponent's turn, if any, so far from my research and from my hands-on experience. What I've seen is most people come into a Pokemon match and it is expected and customary that you execute your complete and total combination or whatever it is that's in your hand. I think that the stakes are higher in Pokemon versus Yu-Gi-Oh! Because in a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! where I play my combo out, I can easily blame fall back on use as a crutch mentally and say i lost because my opponent had the appropriate hand traps and i couldn't play around it etc etc any other excuse i want to make but in pokemon it's more of a um complete defeat because in pokemon you get to complete your entire combination and then you get crushed by your opponent and I would say in that respect, um, <laughs> losing in Pokemon might be just a little more insane because if you get to do everything you plan to do and still lose, what does that say about you? Thing number two is being able to search the deck for cards. In Pokemon, many cards search the deck for any card and one specific card can search the deck for any two cards these cards are ridiculously powerful in a game where there is no ash blossom but it goes into that thing i was talking about on the other side where it is definitely a negative point of stress and anxiety seeing that your opponent can interact and mess with you but from my perspective as a Yu-Gi-Oh player i am kind of stressed out when you get to look in your deck and pick any two cards and do whatever you want not only do you gain knowledge of what's in your prize pool but you also gain knowledge of what's the what's in your remaining remaining deck and that changes how you are currently perceiving the game because of the prizing system where you have to take the top six cards from the deck that begins the hypergeometric distribution which starts anytime cards are moved from the deck so the first six cards are moved into prizes so let's say your key card is charizard ex let's say all three charizard exes were sent to the prizes and then also all three of your pidgeots were sent to the prizes let's say you got that bad luck right if you lose all three charizards and all three pidgeots then how are you going to play your deck if your your deck is charizard pidgeot right you know so so something like that even being a possibility at at any level is already messing with my mind so i would say that's a negative but a pokemon player might say that that's a plus because it's a fair chance and a fair shake that they can play their combo and a lot of people just take a lot of solace in that so as you can see there's a lot of duality on both of these and then on on the second point i feel like if my opponent got to do everything they wanted to do and search their deck and add two specific cards, of course they won the game because they knew more about the game than I did. Then then that's why I lost. But that goes back to Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> if, if, you, if you have more knowledge than someone in Yu-Gi-Oh, you can win the game, which is why you run 20 hand traps and your opponent only runs 15. Number three the speed in which the game is completed. Now, a lot of people might say that Pokemon is a better game because I get to play my turns and the game lasts much longer and it's an interaction going back and forth. No, it's not. That is a lie. That's a fallacy. I actually played your game. The first deck that I picked with a blindfold on was Charizard EX. It has a card in the deck that literally searches any card once per turn. I can have access to that card on my first attacking turn. In Yu-Gi-Oh, that would be considered an OTK. 
In Pokemon, there is no once per turn on the card called Rare Candy. There are no rules on the Pokemon. So you can play Rare Candy and accelerate your turn on the first attacking turn. Meaning for Charizard EX, you can power up to 180 and be able to knock out a basic Pokemon. And for Pidgeot EX, you can search your deck for any card. That's essentially gaining so much tempo in that turn, it's equivalent to an OTK. So number three is the gameplay speed is debunked. It is the same. The only reason it's the same is because the setup phase where both of us set our prizes and do all this stuff is basically bull. It's no type of interaction. You know, I'm just placing cards all around and waiting two turns. That not much is really happening there except for the actual setup. The gameplay starts on the first attack. Same with Yu-Gi-Oh. Turn one. Interactions go back and forth with hand traps. Everything goes down. But the person who has the first attack is going to decide tempo in this game. Is it going to be player A who has control? Because player B couldn't establish appropriate tempo. Or is it going to be player B who's in control because they got appropriate tempo. So again, the fallacy of them being different, I'm throwing that out the window. It is the same.